Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at a new app listed on AppSumo called Visitor Analytics. Hey everyone, my name is Travis. I am a freelance web developer, blogger, and digital strategist over at Travis.media. I also create content here on YouTube, such as this video, so be sure to hit subscribe to stay updated with the latest videos. All right, so as I mentioned, AppSumo listed this new app called Visitor Analytics, and it is a lot like Google Analytics, except on a smaller and more focused scale. So here's what I mean by that. There are a lot of site owners and bloggers that just want the core data. They want to know how many people are on my site or how many people are coming to my site, where are they coming from, what page are they landing on, what page are they going to, etc. Also, they may want to track UTM campaigns and things like that. And Google Analytics, for some, is just too intimidating. So, hey, I want to set up a UTM campaign. How do I do that? I got to go Google it. I got to set it up. And then I got to make a view so I can access it easily. Well, this app does all of that core stuff for you with ease and on a nice, pleasant dashboard. So, uh, on AppSumo, people were asking a lot of questions, and I know AppSumo just gives you a couple of screenshots in a short two-minute video about it. So I wanted to do a video to take you in and show you what it offered and what it looks like on the inside. So let's check it out. All right, so I've been playing around with this now for like 30 minutes, maybe an hour, and uh, I think I got a good overview. So let me show you what it offers. So first off, here's the overview screen. Here you get an overview of everything, basically. So you got your visitors, your unique visitors, your page visits, your bounce rate, uh, conversions, if you have a campaign or something. You have the live visitors on your site. You have top starting pages, latest visitors with some other data there, uh, visitors by country, top referrers, top visited pages, operating systems, browsers, and display resolutions. So let me tell you something. This is the entire app. And why do I say that? Because each one of these categories, you can click See More, and they will take you into these other offerings. So I can come over here and go, um, I can click on this and see more about my pages. I can come over here and see more about my devices. I can check my campaigns. I can check my visitors. All right? And all of that is just more detailed information from what the front page shows. So if I go to visitors here and click see more, that takes me to my visitors section. If I come to overview and I want to see um, my top starting pages, I can click see more and it'll show me more details about it. All right, so let's look at some of these pages. So you have the visitors, you have your latest visitors, so that shows you a lot of stuff, the IP address, whether they're a new visitor or a returning visitor, you have the device, operating system, visited pages, and then you can say, hey, this visitor, I want more history about them. Then you can click see history and see, you know, all the pages they visited and all of that stuff. All right, so you have a map, you have an overview of where people are coming from on this map. Uh, you have uh, traffic charts, you have locations. So these traffic charts are great, except I don't really like these bar graphs. Um, but, you know, I can live, that's just personal preference. I can live with that. So if you hover over them, they tell you everything. Like, hey, one visitor at 9 o'clock, uh, one visitor at 10 o'clock. So number of visitors by month, by weekdays, number of page loads by hour, number of page loads by month. And you got to remember, I've only been using this for the past hour. So as soon as I get more data, uh, you will get, you know, better charts than what I'm showing you here. So if I come to latest visitors, of course, I got the last seven days, the last four weeks, and then I have a date range. So I can't even use the last seven days because I haven't had but one hour yet of using this. All right. So next up, you got pages. You can see your page visits, uh, landing pages, where are people landing at? You got conversions and you got referring sites. So who is referring my visitors? Well, Google, for the most part, I have set out of my, I don't know, 12 visitors or so, I have seven from Google, um, one from Twitter, one from Pinterest, and one from another country's Pinterest. I don't know what RU is, maybe Russia or something. Um, anyway, here you have devices or operating systems. So you can see what operating systems your visitors are using. You got browsers, you got display resolutions. Here you have campaigns. I don't have any campaigns set up on my site, but I did put another site here. Um, I do have a link 
a banner ad on my site that links to my Learn to Code Blueprint site. So when people click that, it'll show that campaign, but I have to go to that site. So you can switch sites up here. I'm going to switch to the Learn to Code Blueprint site. All right, and it'll show me, hey, two campaigns visitors. So top campaign terms. I didn't set a term, so that doesn't give anything. Top performing campaigns, ribbon banner. So this is just setting up UTM parameters. And if you don't know how to do that, um, Visitor Analytics actually has a nice article about it. So just look that up if you need more information. All right, so I see here um, last campaign's visitors from the United States, new visitor from Ribbon Banner, and of course that was referred from Travis Media, so I know it's from my site. Campaign content, visitors by country, great. Next up you have settings. So the settings, there's some neat stuff in settings too. So you set your time zone, you set your website settings, and then they have these data protection settings. So they got these forms uh, that you agree to when you sign up. Um, you can anonymize your visitors' IPs. So this is all um, GDPR stuff if you need to be uh, concerned about that, which you probably should be. But anyway, you can anonymize your visitor, visitors' IPs by clicking this button. Uh, your communication preferences, I want to receive email reports, what, every day, every week, every month. And then, uh, yeah, I do want to ignore my own visits. So you can ignore visits from this browser. That's super helpful. Um, and then you have a link here you can send to people that you don't want to track, which I guess puts a cookie in their browser, I assume. And then you can delete data. So another GDPR thing that's wonderful. You can reset the data here. And that's it, guys. That's all. But I think that is super helpful for people looking for just this data. Okay, it has its own tracking code, so it's not like um, we're just pulling info from Google Analytics. It has its own tracking code, so I think that's really neat. So you can run it alongside of Google Analytics for a while and see how they kind of match and pick one or the other if you want. All right, so what do you get with the AppSumo deal? So basically, uh, you get this. Let me scroll down here. You get lifetime access. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Um, you get three websites with a limit of 10,000 visits per month per website. For some, that may not be a good thing. You're getting more than 10,000 a month. It's not going to track anybody over that. The limit is 10,000. However, down here you can see that you can stack codes. You can stack three codes and get 20,000 and 11 websites. You can stack four codes and get 30,000 views per month per website and, get ac and can use 15 websites. So if you're an agency or something, this might be a good deal for you. Or if you have a lot of websites, stacking the codes may be good too. All right, so you get lifetime email support, um, unlimited visitor data, CSV exports, URL campaigns tracking, that's that UTM stuff I was talking about a minute ago. You got uh, email reports. You can map out your user's route or path within the site, and on and on. You can read all that here. Uh, there's a three-year data retention. That's good. I think they upped that since they first put it on here. All right, so let's talk about price for a minute. So it's like everything on AppSumo. It's a lifetime deal. It is 49 bucks. You get it for life. You're good to go. That's always a good deal. Buy it. You're not losing anything. But here's one thing to consider. If you're not sure about this and you're like, I don't know if I'll use it in the future, but I do want to, um, you know, I may, I don't know, check out this. On their site, you'll see that the same deal, so here's 10,000 uh, visits per month, um, yearly is $3.99 a month per year. So 4 times 12 is 48 bucks. All right, so you're paying $49 for the lifetime deal and $48 for a year's worth. So you don't really make your money back until a year is up. So with a lot of AppSumo deals, you'll get an app that's like 30 bucks a month, and you get a lifetime deal for 50 bucks. You make that money back in two months, and then exponentially you just, you just have a super deal for life. With this one, you don't make your money back for a year. So $4 a month, that's annually. If you want to just do it monthly, it's about $5 a month. So that would be 60 bucks for a year. The, the lifetime license is 49 so it's a good deal to get the lifetime license, but if you're unsure and you're like, I don't know if I'm going to be using this much in the future, I may use it for six months or so, but something else may come up, you may want to just do a month-to-month -month thing from here on the website. You may just want to do five bucks a month for a couple months and see if that's for you, but then again, you'll miss out on the lifetime deal. So those are your two options. I hope this review was helpful to you, and I hope you know a little bit more about visitor analytics. 
I personally like it, and I will use it a lot, and I'm looking forward to what it brings in the future. So hey, again, be sure you subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.